Maca is guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maka here playing Forza Motorsport and in the last several days I have been doing every possible test I can think of in order to come up with the best way to level your cars. As a result, I'm approaching driver level 300 and I have over 15 cars maxed out. There's some good news, there's some bad news, but overall in today's video I'll be sharing my findings on how to boost your car level the fastest and I'll be sharing tips and tricks to make it as easy as possible. Just so you have an idea of all the things I've tested, I've tested slower cars, fast cars, simple tracks versus technical tracks. I've tried to boost my car level in different modes like free play and multiplayer. I've tried idled methods where I just leave my controller playing, which is what I'm sharing with you today. But I've even tested how much more experience I could gain by driving the cars to my full skill potential. And the first and most important thing I learned is that the game is tuned in a way that pretty much no matter what you're doing, it's gonna feed you car experience at the same rate. There are some minor differences, but whether you're driving the worst car on the hardest track or the best car on the fastest track, you're still looking at roughly the same amount of experience. If you're driving a really fast car and you are very skilled, you may save something like five minutes every hour over something like an idled boosting method. The best method I've found by far to boost car levels is to go to race from the main menu and choose the rivals mode. I'll explain why in a bit. Here you wanna choose the car class of the car you want to level and then you'll wanna choose one of the oval circuits. There's a small oval at Eagle Rock, a medium-sized oval in Miami, and a large oval on the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It's not hugely important what you pick, but if you are trying to squeeze every possible experience point out of this method, you wanna choose the oval that is most suited to your car. So for a slow car, choose the small oval at Eagle Rock, and for a really fast car, choose the large oval at Indianapolis. Once you load in, there are a couple of changes that you'll wanna make immediately. Go to your settings. Here, go to driving assists. In the presets, I would recommend going for maximum assists. This allows the game to basically drive your car for you. The only change you'll need to make is in throttle, which you want assisted. At this point, you can start the race and the car will begin to drive itself and earn car XP. Now you're not quite home free yet. You're gonna run into a couple of problems, but before we get into those, let's talk about why we chose the Rivals mode. I found Rivals to be the best option because there will be no other Drivatars on the track. This is important so you don't get stuck behind a slow car and your car will drive as fast as it possibly can around the track. The Rivals mode also doesn't worry about things like your fuel level or your tire wear, so that's something we can ignore completely. Also, while racing around in Rivals mode, your car will periodically set new track segment records for itself, and this just gives you a little bit of bonus experience here and there, allowing this to go just a little bit faster. At this point, you may be tempted to put your controller down and leave, and you are allowed to do that. However, the game will ask you if you're still there every 15 minutes. And I've tried every possible thing I could think of to get around this. Unfortunately, the classic rubber band method doesn't work where you use a rubber band to accelerate or move your camera around. The game will actually require a new input every 15 minutes or else you'll get the message. So for most people, what that's gonna mean is having your controller nearby, maybe while you're watching a movie or eating dinner, and just tapping the handbrake every 10 minutes or so to avoid that screen showing up. There are some more creative ways to get around this. For example, if you're on PC, you may wanna run a script through something like Auto Hotkey, which taps the brake for you every 10 minutes. This will allow you to avoid the screen completely. Or if you are playing on console, you may find some utility out of something like a turbo controller. I'll leave a link in the description to the one that I use. At this point, it's just about patience. Every car will take you roughly two and a half to three hours to level from level one to level 50. And at that point, you will have unlocked all of the upgrades. It is pretty unfortunate that in Forza Motorsport, the best way to level your car is to not play the game at all. But that is unfortunately the state of the game as it currently sits. Drop a like on the video if you found it helpful. Share the video with a friend. Special thanks everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. I'll see you next time. Peace.